Once again, we're on location. Yep. Maybe next time we're on location, there'll be no plastic on the windows. Yes, that would be nice. Oh, today is Wednesday, February 23rd. We've already told the peanut gallery to be quiet. And they're, they're already annoying me. But anyway, today is Ask Us Anything. If you have any questions, ask us. Just put it in the comments below. If you want to send me an email, drop me an email at S C A R R I C O 39 at gmail.com, which is our very first question. Wake up, Jimmy. <laughs> Try. Is from Sue Weber. Uh, and she sent me a, an, an email. And I asked her if she wanted me to answer it on the email or say it out loud. <laughs> and she said to say it out loud. <laughs> this was why. She said, I love, love, love watching you and Jimmy. You always put a bright spot in my day. My question to you was, was Roy really in your basement? <laughs> no. no. Roy is like an excellent edit, oh, recipes from Roy. He's got excellent editing skills. And when I was watching the video, I thought, oh my gosh, that looks just like Jimmy's basement. Cause he does like green screen backgrounds all yeah. the time. And so he did that and I called Jimmy right away. I knew he was at work, but I called him. I said, did you watch Roy's video? She said, he said yeah, he used my basement. <laughs> I like it is a good thing like I took a drink as it was starting his intro I took a drink and put my drink down because if I would have been drinking when that happened I clearly would have spit it all over my yeah. truck I laughed so hard I was like that's awesome it was it was really cool it really was um, and she also wants to know if we ever met no we've never met nope. but hopefully my family has been talking about a family reunion in Boston and he doesn't live that far from Boston we were thinking we could meet halfway so if Jimmy comes, obviously. Yep. We'll we'll meet I'll up. I'll go with in him. his basement. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Haunt him. It's the only way I can do that because I'm not going to do it technically. Yeah, well, I, I can't even figure that out either. Uh, speaking of Roy, recipes with Roy said, as soon as Jimmy said, "I'm like me," I immediately thought of Stuart Smalley. Loved him. <laughs> he is actually my favorite SNL character, the Stuart Smalley, because I'm good enough. I'm smart, smart enough, enough, and gosh darn it, people, people like just me. like me. No, my favorite would have to be Stefan. Oh, he was a good. They had a lot of good yes, characters. Yes, 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 yes. Not so much nowadays. I don't. Think. No, I don't think it's as it's good. It's too as it political was. now. I mean, yeah. it's always been political, but, but not they, as much as it is they've now. They've like picked and choose like maybe one skit that was political. Now it's like every skit. Yeah, it seems be. like there's way too many now. Um, information, informat, informatics. Informatics Nurse Bev yeah. says, you guys are a great team. When your vacation comes to a close, and you are you glad to see it end, or are you ready to get back to your routines? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would say, depending. If it's like a vacation where I'm just staying at home, then yeah, I'm ready to go back to work. If it's a vacation where I'm going somewhere, then I don't want it. No, I'm the same way. I, I have a really good time on my <coughs> vacation. I am not a traveler, though. I do not like traveling to my destination, whether it's going there or coming home. But once I'm there, I have a really good time. I really do. And I don't really want it to end. But uh, I, um, it, it is kind of sad sometimes. When I go to the, my vacation, although this is not Jimmy's idea of a vacation or Jim's idea of a vacation, when we're all cramped into a cottage, I love that closeness. I just do. I miss that when I go home. And it's like all just Jim and I in the house. It's kind of it's so quiet and it's just different. Quiet. Have you heard the way he watches TV? <laughs> yeah. yeah, everybody on the videos heard Jim on TV. They always hear your cowboy shows. Um, Cat on Point says, "Love to see you two laugh." Oh my goodness, Jimmy tiring, tiring, tying. Wait a minute. She put tiring, but she meant tying. Oh my goodness, Jimmy tying his brother to the fence made me think of my boys. Oh, hopefully they're not like him. <laughs> I feel so sorry for you, Cat. He was not upside down. I don't care how long you say it. He was upside down. No, he wasn't. I can. We can take. We'll ask Danny the next time. We'll get Danny we'll on ask video. Him. We'll get him on video because he might not even remember because it was such a traumatic experience. No, he might have just put that way in the back of his mind so he doesn't have to remember it anymore. Uh huh. You did pick on him. Well, yeah, that's what big brothers are supposed to do. I don't know. I don't think so. You were even picking on him last week. What was it for someone we were doing the dinner, Birth Mary's birthday dinner? Was about his He-Man, about his He-Man characters. Because David, uh, uh, <laughs> Danny collected He-Man and he had the little dinosaurs that she clipped all of them on. And Jimmy would always take his Skeletor, which was the main, the main bad guy. <laughs> yeah. And so then Danny would have all of his men lined up ready to go attack Skeletor. And he couldn't find him. <laughs> the Skeletor would be gone. He'd be gone. 
And then you took all of Christy's dolls. Yep. Tell them what you and Danny used to do when Christy <laughs> would be upset. Because their, their bedrooms are up. Every, my kids had their own bedrooms. So. Oh, we'd go make fun of her. She would run in her room and start talking to her dolls. And <laughs> we'd say, your dolls don't love you. Stop talking to them. They don't care. Dolls don't even love you. <laughs> like he, They were terrible. They tormented her, too. Diana Antu said, I love you in Jimmy's tag video. I'm telling you, sometimes you got me rolling on the floor. Love you guys. Don't ever go away. Try not to. I'm telling you. We track them down. Soon, soon enough, though, as of March 31st, we'll be able to just be relax, and you can either come up to the house or we can. I well, guess we'll do one here from the the luxury, house. the finished house. From yes, the finished house. Uh, Nancy Hoof 52 mm -hmm. says, "Sandy, love your updated intro for the Wednesday Ask Us Anything video. It's bright and colorful, like your personality." This is a big year for Jimmy moving into his dream home and turning 50. <laughs> yep. 50. Um, for Jimmy, what are your plans for the big 5 0? Waking up and going to work. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm on a coconut cake. <laughs> uh, are you planning a golf trip or a golf trip to Scotland? I wish a golf trip, trip to Scotland, but that is not happening. You don't take your golf trips in. His birthday's October yeah, 6th. Yeah, it's October 6th, so it's usually... I usually do golf on my birthday, but, like, my golf trip is in July. Do you go on the same one with Danny, or...? No, go Danny different goes to a different one. Um, have you all considered taking one of those DNA tests, like Ancestry or 23andMe? No. No. I think I have enough family now. <laughs> I don't even know where I came from. I, my uh, grandparents came from um, Ireland. I know that. My mother's parents came from Canada. So I got a little bit of Irish Canadian in me. A. There you go. A. 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 That's why I'm so polite. Yeah. <laughs> um, She's Susan, a mean drunk. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm a mean drunk. <laughs> no, actually, I'm a happy drunk. Uh, Suzanne Brightline says, thank you for sharing, Sandy and Jimmy. Have a great rest of the week. You too. Thank you. Hope you like it down there. She's living in New Zealand. I'd love to hear you when you say eggs. No, I can't even say how she says it. How do you say eggs in Australian? Eggs. 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 No, eggs. Eggs. We're going to have some bacon and eggs. Yeah, because uh, one of mine and Samantha's friends had a foreign exchange student from uh, New Zealand and went to high school and all that. And we always joked around with her the way she talked and she would laugh at the way we said things, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, just like nicknames. Like, Correct me if I'm wrong. I could be because um, this was like eight years ago. It was something with piss, but but piss was good. You yeah. know what I mean? And we'd be like, you can't say that. You know? And she'd be like, no, no, it's good in my country. I'm like right. here, it's not. No. Well, that's like in England um, when you say fanny pack. Sorry if you're in England. I'll probably get copyright or dubbed or something for that. That's not. A, you can't say fanny fanny pack. That's Why? Because that means like what ours. C word means. Ah, gotcha. And they can say the C word because that doesn't mean what it means right. here. So, yeah. Um, anyway, Can't. no. Billy Norris says, keep these videos, the long videos coming. I diamond paint while watching, getting excited about the house, finished just like Jimmy is. Probably not as excited as Jimmy's getting. <laughs> not as excited as David will be when it's done. Lori Pawlowski Rutsma, R E I T S M A. Sandy, I'm with you. Sometimes I only have a 15 or 20 minutes to watch a video, so sometimes I just skip the long runs. I don't blame you, but you know what I do when I get a really long one? Because I really like to watch them. Is I'll watch them for so much and then I'll pretend like it, it's a commercial break and I'll put them on pause and I'll do what I want to do. Or I might go to another video that's shorter and then come back to that one. I always watch the whole video, but maybe not all at one setting or sitting. Um, Janice W. said, Finn did raise his head when he heard Jimmy call his cat. Finny, finny, finny. Ma Maxie O'Patty is gone now, but my other cat is named Joe, and he comes to no one. <laughs> Let's try it. Joe, Joe, Joe. Joe, 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 Joe. Um, I have a question. Since you and Samantha don't have a wedding anniversary, do you have some kind of celebration to mark your years together? We do. October 8th. The day you met. That was our first date, and that's what we use. Where you cut her meat for her. I cut her meat. She, we showed up our first date, and she just had wrist surgery. So she had her arm in a sling, and it was all up. 
and ordered our food. Everything came, and you know, like a gentleman I am, I waited. You know, like let her start, and she's just sitting there for a minute and not putting two and two together because her hands are down. You know, the tables she's short, so the tables like already <laughs> here, and her hands are down. So I'm like, well, I'm not gonna wait forever. So I start cutting, and then I kind of looked up, and she was just looking at me, and I go. You can't cut your meat. Can you? And she goes, no. And I go, come here. And so I started cutting her meat. The waitress is like, oh my God, that is so sweet. Um, also, what are Samantha's children's ages? Oh man, you're going to get me in trouble. Jamie is 22 and Jesse is 24. And as always, Finn and I enjoyed your video and, we la and I've laughed with my coffee. What oh. kind of coffee is it though? It's gotta be Maxwell's. I don't drink coffee, so it doesn't matter to me. My mother only liked McDonald's coffee. Yes, that is true. Uh, Carla Johnson says she has a couple questions. Have you ever mapped out your family tree? Nope. My uncle Ed, whose name was Ed Sullivan, but not the Ed Sullivan. Right. Um, he mapped out and we got back from in uh, Ireland as far back as uh, 1842. Wow. And I do have that somewhere. I'll leave that in my will which we're gonna be doing pretty soon when we get our income tax return. Gonna go to the book? <laughs> Put it in the book. Uh, and number two, what is your favorite story about your grandparents? My favorite story about my grandparents would be, well, for grandma, would be going to bingo and she would drive because she wanted, she had to have somebody there with her. So I would go, and the Blue Water Bridge at the time was two lanes. One lane going that way, one lane coming back. She was in such a hurry to get to this, didn't want to miss the start of this bingo, that she was passing cars. Like, you're not allowed to do this on the bridge. And I'm like, Grandma, she's doing 90 on the bridge passing cars. I'm like... <laughs> she did drive fast because I remember one time Danny was in the back seat and he says, Wow, we're going 90, to, we're going 90 miles an hour. <laughs> right. And she, when she went to her change of life, when you went in the car with her, because I didn't drive oh, back it was then. For reason. for reason. Like, I don't get cold. Like, I mean, like, when it's hot out, it makes no sense. When it's cold out, I get cold fast. Yes. But if it's hot, I want the air, like, freezing. It was bad. My it was, I had blankets, like, whenever yes. we had to go, like, to the cottage. Right. It was like, get a blanket. I would say, put your long pants on, put a sweatshirt on, put your jacket on, and get a blanket. Yep. And they go, well, we're, it's 90 degrees out. We're getting in Grandma's car. Oh, let me get my blanket. Yeah. <laughs> um, <coughs> I, like I've always said, I didn't really know my grandparents. I have a slight memory of with my grandfather in Boston going to feed the pigeons. We'd get on the tee and go to a Boston Commons and feed the pigeons. I remember that. Um, I remember when we went to my mother's mother, which is my grandmother on my mother's side, um, we couldn't go out, we couldn't go in the house. And if we were thirsty, she'd say, there's a hose, get a drink out of the hose. We, were, we weren't allowed in the house. but. In her defense, my she like I said, we were like she had like seventy five grandchildren, and my mother was the youngest, so right. she was she was been there, done that, too many grandkids. Uh, Susan Millard said, "Love the long videos." My question for Jimmy is, did you go to college or trade school to learn your trade, or are you self taught? Both. I'd say I'm more self taught. I did. Um, I had a building trades class in high school for two years. No college. And I went through the apprenticeship program in the union for four years. But mostly I've been building stuff be like my whole life. So by the time I got to building trades, they were like, <laughs> I was like a smart aleck because I was like, duh, that's a way you're really asking. This is the first question you're asking me. This is, everyone should know this. Yeah. Jimmy started building my building blocks when yeah. he was two. Um, forts behind everyone's houses. Yes. They didn't even know I'd be back there building behind their garages. <laughs> yeah, he was. Yes, he was very inventive. Uh, Judy Rave said, "There are still are there still. Wait a minute. They are still there tonight, which is Friday. Go oh the the truckers. They are still okay. there tonight, which is Friday going strong. That's 22 days in Ottawa, and our land border is open during away just doing away with the PCR test on February 28th." Another great video, the longer the better. Thanks for doing these every week. Sandy, you are so lucky that Jimmy does take the extra time with you and, and with us. I'm very fortunate. 
I, I don't take it for granted. I really don't because I know how tired and how busy he is. And I know David is like over there now thinking, why don't those two shut up so I can get my part done so I can go home. But we got to get this done. Um, Stephanie Supps, S-U-P-P-E-S. I keep thinking that in this video that Jimmy must be freezing in his t-shirt. Remember when you were complaining how cold it was in my house? Oh, yeah. Came over? I probably was. Um, tell us about your marriage proposals. My marriage proposals? Huh? Well, maybe oh. yours wouldn't be a marriage proposal. Yours would be a <coughs> to live together, I guess. Uh, I basically got her a ring. What? Oh, basically. <laughs> I got her a very nice ring, and I wrote like a long note. Not that I, I said everything on the note, but yeah. I wrote the note so she would, because she keeps stuff like that. I don't. Wrote her a long note, gave her like a heartfelt, you know, like we're not getting married, but this basically means we're pretty much married. We're not seeing other people, and I have no problem spending the rest of my life with you. She agreed, and same thing, sent some stuff back, and that's how that went. And you've been together how long? Uh, this year is going to be 10 years. We've been together a while. Um, I would say that uh, Jim and I never, Jim never, I always tell you what, what's my big complaint. Yep, he never got down on one knee. Never and he down never on asked. One. My dad. Grandpa. No. Um, Jim and I had always talked about getting married, then he got drafted, and I had said in my video the other day that we agreed we were going to date other people. Jim dated someone named Sandy, I dated someone named Jim. The coincidences of that weird. was just like weird, I know. But then when we got engaged, um, he had called me a couple weeks before and he says, no, I really, when, we, when I get out of the service, I want to get married. And I go, yeah, I'd like that too. He says, well, that would mean we're not going to date anybody. And I go, well, let me think about that. That might be a killer. No, I said, no, I said, of course. So when he came home um, and then we picked out the ring and then he did give it to me on Valentine's Day. But we had picked it out. He was home on leave for Christmas and we had picked it out then and they had to... Back then, you get it measured and sized and yeah. all that. And then by the time he got back, then he gave it to me. We went out for Valentine's dinner, and he gave me a box of chocolates, and he gave me a rabbit, a stuffed rabbit, not a real rabbit, a stuffed rabbit, and it had the ring tied around the uh, yeah. the ribbon. That's how he gave it to me. Um, do you prefer to stay in or go out? I prefer to stay in. I prefer to stay in. I don't mind going out. Every we went out to dinner tonight. It was nice, but. It just kills me to pay that much money. It was like $60. Oh, yeah, it's ridiculous. It like, like, we went to order a pizza. Did I tell you that? No. It was just me and Jesse. And because David and Jamie and Samantha, they were all somewhere else. And, you know, I'm like, hey, let's, you want to get a pizza? She goes, yeah. And I go, well, let's just get a pizza and a salad mm -hmm. and get me a two liter pop. And she looked up because she's oh, yeah, doing it online. Now, yeah. And she goes, are you really, are we really going to pay this? And I go, what are you talking about? She goes, it's $77. And I'm like, what? And I go, what did you type in there? Did you like accidentally hit two of everything? She goes, one large pizza, Supreme, one breadstick, one salad, and a two liter, $77. I'm like, cancel that. We are not doing that. Well, I can take the whole family to somewhere for that. Yeah, no. But I prefer to stay in also. WV Running Don. Hi, Ron. Hi, Don. I haven't seen you in a while. With Ethan in college, I am the only man in the house now also. Most of the time, it's Stacy and me with the two younger girls. Can't wait for the big reveal. Are you putting down new sod in the house or seating? He's only got girls in this house, too, like you do. Oh, so. He's got a boy, like he just said, Ethan, but he's away at college. Right. No, I'm seating. You're seating. Yeah, it would be. Are you going to do like that our neighbor Mary did? Our, we had a neighbor next door that was really old, and uh, Mary, she was a really nice lady. Yeah. But uh, she had a beautiful, beautiful lawn. And then one day she came and, oh, not she came, but somebody came and dug up her whole lawn and sprayed some kind of green paint, it looked like, on yeah, the lawn. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. It's got seed in yeah. it and the mulch. But at the time, I'm thinking someone it's took it. It's hydro seed. Yeah, someone took advantage of this old woman because she was like in her late 70s, early 80s. Look at old right. woman, I'm in my 70s. Yep. But, uh, and I thought they really took advantage of her. And, uh, I, I said, Mary, why did you let them do that? She says, oh, they, they insisted it's going to grow like within, what, 10 weeks or something? Yeah. She had the most beautiful lawn. It was, it was really nice. She was such a nice lady. We, we, uh, when we put our pool up, she said, um, 
you're not going to put one of those privacy fences up, are you? And I go, no, why would I? And she says, well, because you have that up. She says, I just like the fact that you have the pri that that I can call you if I need you, because her husband was bedridden. Oh. And I said, no, you can call us any time. And so then. I planted my flowers, and I never really saw her that summer. And then the next summer when I had my flowers out, she says, I really hate to be one of those neighbors that, that has, like a busy body. She says, but I'm just kind of curious what kind of flowers are you putting in there? And I go, well, does it really make a difference? And she said, well, last year you planted marigolds. And I says, yeah, I love marigolds as a, like a filler, like a border flower. She says, I'm allergic to border, I'm allergic to magnolias, and so, the smell gets into my house and I got to close my I said, Mary, why didn't you say something last year? She said, I didn't want to be that neighbor. And I go, no. And so I dug up what, the little ones I did and I went and put petunias in instead. But I'm thinking, why didn't you tell me last year? But she didn't. Bernadette Peterson says she really enjoys your content. Do not hurry. David wants us to hurry. <laughs> David's like, come on. Um, Lynn the Beautiful One. I like your channel. Is that a Prince reference? What is a relationship deal breaker for the both of you? No, I mean, what Hold on. More does he you can. Oh, you don't have to be here. Huh? You don't have to be here if you don't want. You can go. Oh, I can wait. Okay. What, what is a relationship deal breaker for you? <sighs> Dishonesty. Yeah. It's not trusting. Yeah, dishonesty. Yeah, you gotta trust. Yeah. You gotta, I trust Jim wherever he goes. I know that he's gonna make. Smart decision. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, they did look like too smart of a decision there as he lifted. Yeah. If you get my drift. Um, anyway, um, I would say that. Um, the second question is Are you able to fight in a loving way? No. I yes. don't think. Yes, we do. In a, not, you know, in a mean way. I, so I would have to say it would be in a loving way. Jim and I don't really fight. I just We just don't talk to each other. I'm just never right. Jim always says he's never right, but he's not. He's he's, <laughs> he's he's not right about that. I'll give him that much. My big argument when I have with Jim is I'll say I I know I'm not right all of the time, but I also know I'm not wrong all of the time. But he always seems to point out. So that that would say I would say that's our biggest issue. And then he did get mad at me at one time years ago. I don't know if he remembers this. Is every time I said something and he said, Oh no, that's not true. I went and wrote it on the calendar. And so at the end of the month, I pointed out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm not wrong that many times. I'm not right that many times, but I'm not wrong that many times. But I don't, I'm not vicious, but I do. Jim does not swear in front of me. He swears, but not in front of me. Or the kids. Or the kids. You do against the, your, your sons. Yes. Still. You even, do a little bit, not a lot. Even now, he's 50 years old and... I rarely yeah. swear, right. swear um, in front of them. I do swear a lot. So my go-to move when we're fighting is to drop all the big ones. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I do do that. Um, would you rather be the funniest person in the room or the smartest person in the room? Funniest. Funniest. People don't like the smartest person in the no, room, usually. No, just Burn his on, Dave. I would say the funniest. You said which, it was said at 60. I think that uh, that would be a hard one. Who would be the funnier one, you or me? <laughs> clearly me. No, clearly me. Me. No. Yeah. Uh, Mary Pakulski, P-A-K-U-L-S-K. I'll get your name right one of these times, Mary. My son and Jimmy could be twins. I always, I always think to him, you are never going to make it to 18. He drove me nuts. One Christmas they got a Crayola paint set and I told him not to use it on the stairs in his bedroom. We had just put down new carpeting. <laughs> One day he came down in his little insulated long johns and looked like he was bleeding to death. He got red watercolor paint all over the new carpeting and when I tried to clean it up, the stain kept getting bigger and bigger. I could have killed him. I was running up and down it. those stairs just wow. yelling. I don't know that you've ever ruined any. No. Furniture. Anything like that. Well, I know yeah. that... I know that when my sisters were little and I was babysitting, they jumped, were jumping on the bed and then they went through the drywall and left their big butt prints on the wall. So we rearranged the bedrooms, put the headboards over the thing so my mother wouldn't see it. But I don't think I ever did either. Did I think? Burnt the house down. Mary, Mary burnt, burnt the, the house down. Mary burnt the house down, <laughs> playing with matches. Uh, Susie Schofield says, another great one. Thank you. Sue B said, Sandy, do you make money doing YouTube? I make probably... $150 a month. I haven't seen a nickel that money. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
get $150 worth of love from me. Yes. Um, no, he does. I don't give Jimmy any. Yeah, no. I don't give Jim any of the money. That's my money. If Jimmy was ever to say he wanted some money, I would give it to him. Yeah. But he's not going to ask for my money. Go against, go against, go against. Uh, Jimmy, are you going to smoke in your new home? He's smoking all over the place in here. I am, but no. When, when it's done, till it's done, I will. But once I'm finished, no. When, that was our deal, was I get a heated garage. So that way I get smoke on the patio in the summer, in the spring, and in the fall, in the winter. Because, he's going to set up a little table and chairs. I'm going to set up a little table and chairs. Not like I'm going <laughs> to hang out there, but you know, we'll go have one cigarette, but I don't want to stand there. I want to at least sit. Hmm. We were talking about that on the way. I here. might have like one, like like I told her, I'd probably have like two a day, maybe three a day in the house. Like when I wake up in the morning with my coffee, maybe one like it's still gonna after be. dinner and then before bed. Jim, Jim was a smoker all of his all of his life, basically, it seems like. And then when he finally quit smoking, because the whole time he was smoking, I'd say, oh, this car stinks. Oh, you're crazy, you're crazy. And uh, when he quit smoking, he'd say, you know, I can smell that guy when he walks in the room. He's a smoker. And i go, oh, hello. We knew that from the get-go. But we were talking about that on the way coming here, that uh, even when you have workers in here, the workers are smoking yeah. anyhow. Uh, hope these questions aren't too personal. Love your videos. Nope. Ask us anything, we tell you. 1952 Trouble said, Jimmy, how soon after you finish your house will you get your hernia repaired? I'm a retired nurse and a truck driver. I'm not sure, because they said when I went for the last one, they said as long as it doesn't come back out, it's not a problem. If it comes back out, then I have to have surgery. Mm -hmm. And it, ever since ever since then, it not got metal. <laughs> Has it come up? Uh, and I've been doing some strenuous stuff since then, so... <laughs> You're probably lucky. Andy Bunn said, hugs, kisses, and thumbs up to us. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. Uh, Gina Pearson sent us hugs and kisses. Thank you, Gina. She knows how much I love hugs. <laughs> uh, Cecilia, C-E-C-I-L-E. -E. Is it Cecilia? Cecilia. Fran... Okay, Cecilia, you're going to drive me crazy here. Franson, F-R-A-N-S-S-E-N. It's the same one. Question for Jimmy, will you smoke in your new house? Nope. And Elizabeth Surakowski says, I think Jimmy was referring to the game Trouble. Where you push yes. the button. Yes, that was the game. That was the game. All right, look at another half hour video. I used to keep it at 20 minutes, but now I got the... Long video. Long yeah. video. But if you have any questions for us... Ask us. Yeah, we, we love answering questions. It'll be easier once Jimmy's done. And it's heated in here. I think it's pretty warm. I'm freezing right now. It's 60 degrees. I don't know how much warmer you want it. 70. That'd be too hot. That would be too hot. So, but once again, ask us anything. But if you're new to the channel, comment, like, subscribe, and share. Talk to you guys soon. Bye, Brian.